The TJF Q180V reprocessing manual and supplemental instructions contain the cleaning, disinfection, and sterilization methods recommended by Olympus for the TJF Q180V duodenoscope. These instructions contain information essential to reprocessing the endoscope and accessories safely and effectively. Before reprocessing, thoroughly review the TJF Q180V reprocessing manual and the manuals of the reprocessing equipment and chemicals that will be used for reprocessing. This video is provided to demonstrate steps necessary for reprocessing a TJF Q180V duodenoscope. Fill a clean large basin with detergent solution. Immerse the endoscope in the detergent solution. Thoroughly brush or wipe all external surfaces of the endoscope using clean, lint-free cloths, brushes, or sponges. Pay particular attention to the air water nozzle opening and the objective lens on the distal end of the insertion section, and ensure that all surfaces of the distal end are thoroughly cleaned. Lower the elevator. Perform the following brushing in the detergent solution. Straighten the bending section of the endoscope. Brush the forceps elevator, including the guide wire locking groove and the forceps elevator recess, with the single-use channel opening cleaning brush, MAJ1339, or the single-use combination cleaning brush, BW412T, as follows. Insert the brush into the forceps elevator recess along the forceps elevator. Insert the brush into the instrument channel until the brush handle touches the distal end of the endoscope and pull the brush out of the forceps elevator recess. Repeat the insertion and withdrawal three times. Brush the guide wire locking groove. Raise the elevator. While holding the distal end, brush the forceps elevator and the forceps elevator recess with the single-use channel opening cleaning brush as follows. Insert the brush into the forceps elevator recess along the back of the forceps elevator until the distal end of the brush touches the bottom of the forceps elevator recess and pull the brush out of the forceps elevator recess. Insert the brush into the forceps elevator recess. Rotate the brush one full revolution and pull the brush out of the forceps elevator recess. Lower and raise the forceps elevator in the detergent solution three times. Clean the bristles of the brush in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Lower the elevator. Brush the distal end of the endoscope except the forceps elevator and the forceps elevator recess using the single-use channel opening cleaning brush until no debris is observed upon inspection of the distal end of the endoscope. Straighten the bending section of the endoscope. Grip the channel cleaning brush at a 0.3 centimeters from the bristles. Insert the brush at a 45 degree angle into the opening located in the side wall of the suction cylinder. Using short strokes, feed the brush through the instrument channel until it emerges from the distal end of the endoscope's insertion section. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles when the brush emerges from the distal end. 
clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Carefully pull the brush back through the channel and out of the suction cylinder. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles when the brush emerges from the suction cylinder. Clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Repeat the brushing of the suction channel until no debris is observed upon inspection of the brush. Grip the channel cleaning brush at a 0.3 centimeters from the bristles. Insert the brush straight into the suction cylinder. Using short strokes, feed the brush through the suction channel until it emerges from the suction connector on the endoscope connector. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles when the brush emerges from the suction connector. Clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Carefully pull the brush back through the channel and out of the suction cylinder. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles when the brush emerges from the suction cylinder. Clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Repeat the brushing of the suction channel until no debris is observed upon inspection of the brush. Insert the single-use channel opening cleaning brush into the suction cylinder until half of the brush section is inserted. Rotate the inserted brush one full revolution and pull the brush out of the cylinder. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles. Clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Repeat the brushing of the suction cylinder until no debris is observed upon inspection of the brush. Insert the single-use channel opening cleaning brush into the instrument channel port until the brush handle touches the channel opening. Rotate the inserted brush one full revolution and pull the brush out of the instrument channel port. Inspect whether there is debris on the bristles. Clean the bristles in the detergent solution using your gloved fingertips to remove any debris. Repeat the brushing of the instrument channel port until no debris is observed upon inspection of the brush. Dispose of the single-use channel opening cleaning brush. Remove the endoscope from the detergent solution. Attach the suction cleaning adapter to the instrument channel port. Attach the suction tube from the suction pump to the suction connector on the endoscope connector. Turn the suction pump on. Confirm that the forceps elevator is lowered and immerse both the distal end of the insertion section and the weighted end of the suction cleaning adapter in the detergent solution. Cover the suction cylinder of the endoscope with your gloved finger and aspirate the detergent solution through the instrument channel and the suction channel of the endoscope for approximately 30 seconds. While continuing the immersion and the aspiration, raise and lower the forceps elevator three times by turning the elevator control lever. Turn the suction pump off. Detach the suction tube and the suction cleaning adapter from the endoscope. Confirm that the forceps elevator is lowered and straighten the bending section of the endoscope. Brush the forceps elevator and the forceps elevator recess with the single-use soft brush, MAJ 1888, as follows keeping the distal end of the endoscope immersed in the detergent solution. Brush the guide wire locking groove with three strokes. Brush both grooves with three strokes each. Clean the bristles of the brush gently with your fingertips in the detergent solution. Raise the forceps elevator. 
Brush the whole back side of the elevator three times, keeping the distal end of the endoscope immersed in the detergent solution. Clean the bristles of the brush gently with your fingertips in the detergent solution. Insert the brush head slowly into the groove under the forceps elevator until the end of the brush touches the wall behind the elevator. Rotate the inserted brush three revolutions while ensuring the end of the brush is contacting the wall behind the forceps elevator and while keeping the distal end of the endoscope immersed in the detergent solution. Pull the brush out slowly and gently clean the bristles in the detergent solution with your fingertips. Operate the elevator control lever to lower and raise the forceps elevator three times, keeping the distal end of the endoscope immersed in the detergent solution. Raise the forceps elevator. Insert the tip of the 30 milliliter syringe into the interior of the forceps elevator recess in the detergent solution and flush the interior of the recess with 30 milliliters of the detergent solution. Lower the forceps elevator by turning the elevator control lever. Insert the tip of the 30 milliliter syringe into the interior of the forceps elevator recess in the detergent solution and flush the interior of the recess with 30 milliliters of the detergent solution. Repeat brushing and flushing the forceps elevator and the forceps elevator recess. Inspect whether there is debris on the forceps elevator and in the forceps elevator recess while raising and lowering the forceps elevator and repeat brushing and or flushing the forceps elevator and the forceps elevator recess until no debris is observed upon inspection. Dispose of the brush in an appropriate manner. Attach the channel plug to the endoscope. Attach the injection tube to the endoscope connector. Immerse the suction port of the injection tube in the detergent solution. Attach a clean 30 milliliter syringe to the air water channel port of the injection tube and flush the air water channel with 90 milliliters of the detergent solution by pumping the syringe at least three times. Wipe all external surfaces of the endoscope, the channel plug, and the injection tube to remove debris while they are immersed in the detergent solution using a clean, lint-free cloth, brush, or sponge.
Leave the endoscope with attached accessories immersed in the detergent solution according to the instructions of the detergent manufacturer. Fill a clean large basin with water. Remove the endoscope with attached accessories from the detergent solution. Immerse the endoscope with attached accessories in the water and gently agitate them to thoroughly rinse. Immerse the suction port of the injection tube in the water. Attach a clean 30 milliliter syringe to the suction channel port of the injection tube and flush the suction channel with 90 milliliters of water. That is, pump the syringe at least three times. Move the syringe to the air water channel port of the injection tube and flush the air water channel with 90 milliliters of water. Remove the endoscope with attached accessories from the water. Place them in a clean basin and cover the distal end and the control section of the endoscope with clean, lint-free cloths to prevent splashing from the channel openings. Attach the syringe to the suction channel port of the injection tube and flush the suction channel with 90 milliliters of air. Move the syringe to the air water channel port of the injection tube and flush the air water channel with 90 milliliters of air. Remove the cloths from the endoscope and detach the channel plug and the injection tube from the endoscope. Dry the external surfaces of the endoscope, the channel plug, and the injection tube by wiping with clean, lint-free cloths. Inspect all items for residual debris. Should any debris remain, repeat the entire cleaning procedure until all debris is removed. 